Drums, please! Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My tone is the Original Imakuma. Original Imakuma. He might have on the boa, man. One of the pizza points. Not in this dimension. Not in this dimension. Okay? Hi! Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Martha, also known as Maita. You can call me MTK, whatever suits your tongue at that particular time or juncture. If this is the first time you up here. Hi. If this is the second time, third time, or fourth time you up here. What's up, Neil? How's it? All good? I'm good. I'm always good, man. <laughs> so, today's topic is we, it's a topic we have to assess. Because it's getting out of hand. And because like I said, that I'm on the vula, please mind my wambo. I am feeling my kwambi ancestors. Hey, 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 today. So the words I love you. Three words, ne? But when they put together, it's it's very powerful. Because it's so easy to say, everybody be saying it these days, you know. Everybody. You know, it has become like a greeting, like, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Don't get me wrong, I love love, you know. I love love. Jesus is love, so why wouldn't I love love? But you know, that's the right kind of love. That's the right kind of love, okay? And I am here. <clears throat> your love doctor, your love firefighter, I am here to distinguish and extinguish the wrong kind and you know this this is love that is being cooked under you know the blankets and on top of those restaurant tables that is the kind of love i am here to extinguish before you say i love you to someone here are some tips not tips but questions you should ask yourself before you say it to that person okay Maybe you're at that stage where you want to say it to someone. Ask yourself these questions. These are questions that I think are relevant enough to ask yourself. You know? I think they're... Because I made them up, so... Because I believe in them, you know? So, like... It is really... It's, it's kind of also awkward for the next person to hear I love you from a person and you weren't ready. And you know when somebody says I love you to you, Sometimes that phrase sounds like a question, although there's no question behind it. It's like, I love you. Then it's like, oh my gosh, should I reply, I love you too, or should I run? Run? Okay. Number one question you should ask yourself before you tell me. I'm going to use myself as an example because these are my most five trendies. Anyways, you should ask yourself before you tell me you love me. Ask yourself, Lokucha. Do you know me? Yeah, do you know me? Like, not just my name, ah, where I live, ah, where I school, ah. No. Do you know me? Me? me, me. Yeah? Because I don't know what is up with our planet Namibia, ne? Eh? Mara, the people in it are just, they really like the, the phrase, I love you, eh? They are just loving everyone. Like, I could be walking in the streets, bruh. Some nigga just comes up and is like, because I woke up on the right side of the bed and like you smell good and you look good and like your smile is intoxicating. I was like, okay, I'm gonna give you my number. Okay, then we go past that phase of like, hi, hi, you know, the texting, hi, hi, what are you doing? Nothing, what are you doing? Nothing, um, so what, what are you, what are you thinking about? It's very cool. Uh, all that, we go past that phase and then for 9 p.m. the same day. You're like, I'm in love with you. Right there. No color. What, what, what's wrong with you, little man? Oh my gosh. It's too deep. And it's too soon. Yeah? There's nothing that makes someone run off faster than you saying, I love you, to them. When, like, clearly, 
there was no foundation for that love to be built. Yeah. Like, yo, I am 99% about to or going to run off. I'm gonna run off like you same both, bro. And you ain't never gonna see me again, fam. You ain't never gonna see me. Number two question you need to ask yourself before you tell me no question you love me. Ask yourself, am I worth it? Yeah? All of it. And when I say all of it, I'm talking about are you ready to risk losing stuff like e alcohol abuse, e drug addiction, e gambling, e your host. Are you ready to lose all that for you? Are you ready? Yeah? Are, are you at least capable or at least capable of trying? Yeah? Because my deal, you want to come over to my side. Yeah? Yeah? You will not get over to the other side. <laughs> Number three, <laughs> I have to look at my fingers. Number three question you need to ask yourself before you tell me no, because you love me. You need to ask yourself, do you respect me? Eh? Do, you, do you respect me, brother Wa? Or sister Wa? It's all good. All good. All good. Hmm? Do you respect me? When you look at me, do you see me as your lady? Eh? Do you see something worthy within me? Do I inspire you in some sort of way? Is there something about me that makes that makes you want to see life in a different way? Huh? Are you yourself around me? Are you, are you even... Are you even there when you're around me? What I'm trying to say, honestly, that you must really respect me, fam. I cannot be your home forever. Okay? I cannot be your home forever. <laughs> home is just like a fun thing, you know? Just joking, man. Number four question you need to ask yourself if you want to tell me enough shit you love me. Would you take a bullet from me? That phrase is funny, eh? Because everybody says it, but I mean, like, oh, brother, like, honestly, how do you know the shooter only has one bullet in that gun? <laughs> okay, ma, you like, Ooh, come all up in my space, and then you get shot, and like, okay, ma, you took a bullet from me, but now, nigga Holmes, you dead. I basically just self suicided in front of me, and now you dead, and now I'm facing the shooter. He got more bullets in his gun. Now, what now? Did you what I'm trying to say is, um, that was just me being stupid. What I'm trying to say is, would you protect me? You know, would you be my man? You know, protect each other. But I mean, like, would you be my man? Night and shining arm, you know. Is my safety and happiness meaningful to you? Is meaningful even a word? Does my safety and happiness mean something to you? If you ever found me in a state where I was in myself or I was just depressed or sad or shook, would you stay and comfort or be there for me? You know. Just, just ask yourself, man. Before you tell someone you love them, just think about this, man. Number five question you need to ask yourself before you tell me. No question you love me. Do you see me in your future? Yeah? See me in that big frame of yours? Yeah? Am I the, the wife? Or am, am I a bridesmaid? Oh my gosh! Like, do you see us building a future together? Building a home? Raising children? Building each other? Do you see that? Or do you see something of that sort within me? Like it's, I, am, I, have, I have that capability within me to do such a thing with you. Huh? I'm not down for like, uh, 
we will just see where this relationship takes us. And when we see where this relationship takes us, um, mm. uh, we want to measure how much petrol we are going to need when we go through to our journey of love. Eh? No. Then I want just hold my hand. Just hold my hand. Let us walk. Because love is unpredictable. That those little things come with the whole big picture of love, man. Because when you see someone you love happy, you get happy. Know what you have, man. Because those things are, are not there. Is it really love you're feeling? Or is it just some other abstractual, abstractual things that you are having? I'm looking up words like they exist, man. That's what I'm about. Let us just conjangulate this video because it's getting long. Uh, those were the five things you need to ask yourself before you tell someone you love them. How much did you get? Three out of five, huh? Four out of five is zero. Hmm. Do not wow. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe these aren't the five things you need to ask yourself before you tell someone you love them. Because... You don't need to ask yourself sometimes if you love someone. Sometimes it's just the feeling that comes to you. Hmm. You might be looking at me and be like, I oh, know my friend girl. How many times have you been in love, host? Hmm. 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 Once. Okay. But I'm young. I got so much love to give, host. <laughs> <laughs> they are stuck. <laughs>